Good morning to you, good morning to you. We're all in our places with sunshiny faces. This is the way to start the Lord's day. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We hope you enjoyed Mr. Mike's introduction there. He has a very nice singing voice. Mm -hmm. And we hope that all of you are doing well. Hopefully, all of you remembered our unit theme for the month of September, Worshiping God, and our unit Bible verse, Psalm 95, verse 6. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. In fact, our unit verse for September is our key verse for this week and for the rest of the month. So let's say it together. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Psalm 95, 6. Today, we're going to talk about singing in church. That's why Mr. Mike opened us up with a song. But first, before we start our lesson, let's pray. Let's pray. Our dear Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for the many lessons that you give us, Lord. We thank you that today we can learn about singing to you and for the joys that we have when we do have songs, Lord. Thank you for the gifts of being able to uh, sing, Lord, and make a joyful noise unto you and help us to learn more about how that's part of worship. In the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So when are some of the times that we sing in church? I know we sing in the worship service. When we had regular church before March and the virus came, you know, me and Miss Kim, we would sing in the choir and other people were in the choir with us. And some of you have sang in children's choir and you do it at Christmas time and uh, other times of the year, we'll have a special mm -hmm. children's and youth choir. And maybe you sing some on your Wednesday night class or Sunday school sometimes maybe you get to sing. You know, worship is giving honor, reverence, and praise to God. And singing is a type of worship. People sing in a way to worship God. Our Bible study today comes from the book of Ezra, chapters 2 and 3. And the title of our lesson is, The People Sang. Let's find out what happened. So the people of Israel had been prisoners in Babylon for many, many years, a long time. Finally, they were allowed to return home. When they arrived in Jerusalem, which was the capital city of Israel, some of the family leaders gave offerings of gold coins and silver and even clothes for the priests to wear so that the temple, which is God's house, could be rebuilt. Mm -hmm. A few months after the people got settled back into their towns in Israel, they got back together in Jerusalem and they started working on the temple. The first thing they built was an altar to offer sacrifices to God. Even though they were surrounded by their enemies, they still made sacrifices every morning and every evening. The people celebrated, worshipped, and made sacrifices even before the foundation of the temple was ready. They gave money to the stonecutters and artists so they could get supplies they needed for the temple. When the workers finally completed the foundation of the temple, the priests played trumpets and the Levites played cymbals, and together they sang praises and gave thanks to God. God is good. He is faithful love to Israel endures forever. Lord of all to thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. Sometimes you'll hear you will hear grown ups use the word corporate worship. That's when a group of Christians get together to sing praises and give thanks to God. 
That's what these people did and what we do when we get together at church. God says in the Bible that he wants the people to get together and worship. The people in our Bible study today were singing and worshiping God because he freed them from their captivity. Remember we said that they had been prisoners in Babylon for many years. Plus, their temple was being rebuilt. They were very joyful about that too. They thanked God for making them free and they praised him because God is good and faithful. Well, let's look at our activity pages for today. Here we go for the first through third graders. You'll get to finish the foundation and build a song. All right, on finish the foundation, it says the church sings to, and they give you the first letter and then you have to fill in the rest. And so you kind of follow the directions. I don't know if you can see the arrows, but you'll be able to see them when we post them. So the first letter is P, and then that arrow says to the right. So you look to next to the P, and that's an R. And then the next arrow says look down under the R, and that's A. And you keep on following the arrows until you have your word. Now to build a song, they give you three lists of words. So the first word you choose from the blue list. The second word you choose from the orangish, yellowish, orangish list. And the third one you choose from the red list. And you can go and make different songs by choosing different words. And then we have our fourth through sixth grade and they'll be creating some musical humor and learn more about the difference between praising God and thanking God in a fine line. Remember, we thank God for things he does and we praise God for being wonderful, good, and faithful. All right, so for our musical humor, you have to unscramble the words in purple and put them here. And then the words that have numbers under them I mean, the letters that have numbers under them, you put them in the right order here. And you find out the answer to the riddle. And then in a fine line, you remember, it helps you to remember the difference between praising God for who he is and how wonderful he is and thanking him for the things he does. So you'll read each of these little things and then draw a line to whether you're praising God or thanking God. On the back of each sheet today's Bible study, you'll have a note to the parents and a daily Bible reading. There's also a section called Live It Out. That's kind of like the daily challenge that we were doing before. This week, we're encouraged to memorize Psalm 95.6. So we'll be doing Psalm 95.6. That's the memory verse. And it's right here in the Good Lord's Book. All right, and another thing we're doing is including a list of all the books of the Bible in order, starting with Genesis and going all the way to Revelation. When we learn the books of the Bible and we learn the things we can find out in those books, we can learn more about God. For example, today we were in the book of Ezra. And Ezra, if you look up on the list, is a book of history. So when we read the book of Ezra or any of these books in the history list, we can find out what was going on in history during those times. As you go through the rest of this week, think about the pe people that were praising and thanking God. And think of some ways that you can praise God and thank him. Sing a song or play an instrument even if you have to make a paper instrument. You can also do that if you have an empty toilet paper roll too. And that's fun. And you can decorate your instrument too. And rubber bands make good little guitar strings. That's right. You can do lots of fun things to make your own instruments. So we hope that you will praise God and thank him every day and get your family involved. I'm sure they would love to sing and play instruments with you too. 
Let's pray. Our dear Lord, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for this lesson of song, Lord. We do ask that you would help us to make a joyful noise unto you and to remember to celebrate you. We do ask that you be of Pastor Charlie, be of our church, Lord, be of the many needs on the prayer list and touch each and every one, especially be of those that have recently lost loved ones and comfort them in their time of loss. And we just ask that you would uh, be of us and help us live this week in such a way that just glorifies you and lifts you up. Amen. 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 Y'all have a good week. We love you. We'll see you soon.